Hey guys, I'm back with another GoPro mounting tips and tricks video. In this video, I'm going to show you how I used a flat adhesive mount to mount my GoPro camera onto a, onto a ski. I'm going to put this one right up here by the front so I, when I put my camera on it, it can fold back and get a great shot of me skiing standing up from my ski. Because my ski is attached to my boot, which is attached to my leg, this should be pretty steady. I'm a little bit worried about the vibration in... Um, on some harder snow or through some crud, but I think for most soft snow, it'll be pretty good. So here's how I'm gonna do it. All right, so I've decided to start by uh, mounting my adhesive mount. I've decided that I'm going to uh, to put it somewhere between the, the ski binding and the tip. Now, I don't wanna mount it too close to the tip because at some times when you're skiing, your ski, kips, your ski tips cross and you end up, if you had the camera mounted up here, you'd end up ripping your camera right off your skis, which isn't what we want to happen. So I've picked a point right about here. I think this will be good. I think it's far enough back that I won't have any chance of ripping it off, but still far enough forward to get a good shot of me skiing. Um, I'm going to begin by giving the surface where I plan to mount a really good clean. If I had acetone, that'd be a good thing to use on this. Just make sure you get it really clean. You want to make sure it's dry and that you're in a, uh, a, really, a really warm environment. These things uh, like like warmth, they like dry, so give it a good wipe, make sure it's clean, and then peel off the back. Now I've already tested where I'm going to put it and I know how I'm going to line it up. So once it's off, I'm not going to put it down right away, I'm just going to do one final check of where I'm going to mount it. I've made sure that the surface I'm mounting it on is very flat. This, my ski here, had, there's, there's, no, there's no detailing on here, so it's very flat. So I'm just going to go, it's going to be put straight down right here. I'm going to make sure I got it lined up, so just like that. It's down and it's centered. I'm going to apply pressure for a little bit just to make sure it's, it's on there good. Now, I'm really going to want to make sure that I leave it for about 24, 12 to 24 hours before I actually take it anywhere try and use it. The, this double-sided sticky tape, this VHB, is a, a lot like glue. Once you put it down, it needs to set, and the more time it gets to set, the, the tighter or the, st stuff, the, the tougher it's going to be. So there's my, there's my mount. It's stuck down. You can see from the side. Very low profile when the, when the camera's not on. Once the camera gets put on, it's just going to slide on like this. Tighten down the bolt, of course. And then I think we're in for a great shot of me skiing. One other thing that I would like to add would be if you find that the, the standard mount, when it's mounted on your ski, doesn't allow the camera to get far enough, to tilt far enough back and you, you can't get your head while you're skiing, um, replacing the, the standard mount with a, with, a J, with a J mount is a great way. Uh, this allows the camera to fold back all the way back. You really won't want it that far back, but uh, if we see with the J buckle here, we can the camera can fold back a lot more, allowing even uh, a, a farther up shot. One last thing I would like to add before uh, you guys go out and start skiing with this mount would be make sure that you, uh, you tie the mount on to, to something on your ski. So uh, if, you haven't, if you don't know how to do it, there's a video on my channel about adding a securing loop to your GoPro. You can check it out, put one on, and then tie it. So I've got a little piece of string. I'm going to tie it through there my mount on, little knot here, and then I'm going to run it back around my ski binding and tie it on, and then I'll cut off the extra here. Now um, what I'd like to do with this is, in case my mount fails and my camera falls off my ski, at least it's tied onto my ski. and. I still have my camera. Now, I, I'm not 100% sure how well the, the sticky mount or the flat mount is going to stick to our skis. So, the ski is a quite high packed environment. If we get a chunk of snow or we hit something or we crash, there might be a chance of the, ski coming, of the, the camera coming off the ski. So, I think tying it on, at least to start with, until we know how well the camera will stay on the ski, this is a good idea. So, I don't recommend really going out, for your first time at least, with your camera mount on your ski without tying it onto your ski. 
as you will have seen from the footage that I will have put up at the beginning of the video, this gets awesome shots. If you guys have enjoyed this video, uh, please subscribe to my channel. It always really helps. I like to know that you enjoy these. If you've enjoyed this and you like it, please leave me a comment below or like the video. Uh, thank you all for watching and check out some more of my videos that I have. They're all awesome.